Now, there is an Edgewood family who just moved across the country to improve the quality of life for their son. He has Dravet syndrome, which is a severe form of epilepsy. And although it can be really challenging, of course, as photojournalist Ryan Gibson shows us, it's also bringing them together. Hi, I'm Ryan Day. Hayden's my oldest child, and he has Dravet syndrome. I'm Marissa Day, Hayden's mom. She. Hayden is the oldest of our four children. Hi, I'm Brooks. I'm Paige. Hi, I'm Zoe. Dravet syndrome is a severe form of epilepsy. Um, it starts during the first six months of life for most kids. Um. In Hayden's case, it's because of a genetic mutation. His first seizure was about seven months old. We were giving him a bath and it was, you know, we were so, it was so foreign to us. We just had no idea what was going on. Um, and it was kind of panic mode set in. Used to be most common for Hayden when he would have these quick one second seizures. His body would just twitch. Um, and, you know, so it, it really first manifested as that, that's what we first noticed. By the time Hayden was about four years old, um, he was having over 100 seizures a day easily. We were using rescue medications probably once a week, once every other week. In many ways, uh, even, even the medical professionals are guessing in some cases, it's try this drug and if that doesn't work, okay, then try this one. And if that doesn't work, then try this one. We moved from Virginia to Washington because kids with Dravet syndrome are incredibly sensitive to heat. During the summertime, Hayden could spend, couldn't spend five minutes outside without going into nonstop seizures. <coughs> it's not easy for the other kids. You know, some things that I think um, a lot of people take for granted and they don't recognize is that, you know, right now our son Brooks is involved in Cub Scouts and, you know, our daughter Paige has been playing um, softball and just going to those events is not an easy thing when you have a special needs child like Hayden because someone always has to be with him. He cannot be left alone any moment of the day. <coughs> Brooks has really taken on that role as the oldest child. You know, he's he's the bigger, younger brother. If Hayden's having a rough day and he's inside or he wants to be doing something that the other kids don't want to be doing, it's, Brooks, can you watch, keep an eye on Zoe, you know, so that I can keep an eye on Hayden. And, you know, Brooks and Paige really are really great about that. You know, Zoe is a very understanding four-year-old. All three of them really have learned a lot of patience. They're super helpful. They're always, always, always watching for Hayden to make sure he's not having a seizure and make sure he's safe. They have a little bit more understanding for people and a little more, more compassion um, because they deal with it on a regular, everyday basis. Having a, a child with special needs is very isolating. So one of the things that I would say is important is, you know, for people, if they, if they know a family who has a child with special needs, uh, to just, you know, if you make that little extra effort to reach out and try and get them to, you know, try and try and reach out and include them in something or invite them to something, they may not be able to do it, but they'll really appreciate it. You're gonna make me cry. <laughs> <laughs>